The new program hopes to provide encouragement and direction to keep teenagers away from a life of crime. Q13 News reporter Frankie Thompson has a closer look. Tyler Ware has a lot to smile about these days. It's something he says he didn't do much while growing up through hardships in Snohomish County. There wasn't a time in, in my life previously, even before crime and drugs and things like that, that I was ever really happy. You know, I never really had a purpose, um, just kind of drifted through life and did my thing. So, you know, addicted to drugs and narcotics and things, which led to committing crime. Uh, that happens in that lifestyle. That lifestyle led to two stints in prison. After seeing his mugshot on Q13's Washington's Most Wanted. And I go, oh, what's this? And I clicked on it and I was dropped my phone. And I was just like, oh my God. I was like, Washington's Most Wanted, really? Like, reality set in. That's when he knew it was time for change. B, B, B. His road to redemption caught the attention of Snohomish County Sheriff Adam Fortney. I want people to know his story because I think it can inspire other people who've been down that road. It's a road they're trying to protect area kids from going down. That's why the sheriff created a new youth program called Lead the Way. He says he couldn't think of a better partner to do this outreach with than someone who's been there. We're not naive, you know, we, we both live the life and uh, we know we may not be able to reach each and every one of them, but we're going to provide that setting and kind of leave it in, in their court. The sheriff says they're trying to connect with kids ages 13 to 17 years old that may be struggling to make good decisions, whether they've committed a crime or at a crossroads in life. The program is focused on supporting these teens through courses rooted in life skills, encouragement, accountability, and leadership. You have to really want it. Nobody can want it for you. Your mom can't want it for you. Your brothers, you know, even mentors like us, like if we reach somebody, they have to really want the help. It's the kind of help Ware says he needed growing up, but now he hopes to use his comeback as inspiration to keep kids away from a life of crime. I think it would have made a huge difference in the path that I chose to go in life. Um, so hopefully if I could just reach one kid, you know what I mean? Just one kid change one life, it would make the world a difference for me. Frankie Thompson, Q13 News.